Hey guys, and welcome to another Swift tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about network requests. Um, most of the apps that you create, you're going to make a network request to some API or the other. So today, we're going to demonstrate how to make a GET request using the NASA API. So let's get into it. First step is we want to see our API and see what we're going to get back from it. The reason we want to do that is so we can determine how do we create the model to extract the data from the JSON that the API is going to send us back. So I opened up the URL in a JSON beautifier, and we see it gives back the copyright, the date, the explanation, media type, title, and URL. We'll be concerned with the title, the URL, and the media type. This is because the NASA API sometimes gives out videos in the photo of the day API, and we're playing images for now. So first thing we're going to want to do is create a model for the photo info. I like to separate it in a different folder because that makes it so much easier to deal with my files. So let's create a photo info. A struct of photo info. I'm going to implement the decodable protocol. If you want to encode data to send to an API, you would implement the encodable API, the encodable class. And if you want to decode it, the decodable class. And if you want to make the structure to do both decodable and codable, you can just implement the codable class. But in this case, we'll do the decodable class. We're going to be getting a title of string, the URL of type URL, and then we're going to be getting the media type of type string. I'm also going to be making a another variable that tells us if it is an image or not. which is a bool, and then we return if you notice one thing over here the media type has a key of media underscore type however over here we define it as media with capital T type so how do we deal with that Sometimes if you want to change the variable, we can specify what key maps to what variable. And we do that by in implementing the coding key. Of type string coding key. Title will be title. URL will be URL or the media type is going to be media underscore type and this will take care of mapping it to the variables that we have set up from the json data that the nasa api is giving us back now we're going to go into the photo network helper again we'll create another folder networking and i'll create a photo network helper So another struct in here we're going to define the function to get the information from the nasa api and setting up our network request so let's make a base url Generally, whenever you make API requests, you have a base URL and then you have specific endpoints you call for different functions. So it's best practice to have a base URL and then append the specific endpoint data to that. Also, in this case, for calling any API, any call on this API, we need to give it an API key. So I'm going to create a query parameter. 
in this case, it is API underscore key and its value is demo key. Now that we have this, we can create our specific function to call the photo API. So I'll do fun fetch photo. I'll give it a completion and escaping completion that takes photo info return void. So we're going to build our URL. In this case, it'll be URL equals base URL dot appending path component planetary and appending a pod. So this adds like the forward slash. Then we're also going to add the queries. I just created a helper function over here to easily add it to the URL. Now that we have our URL, we're going to want to set up a request. And we do that using URL request. Giving it the URL we created above. After we create the request, we need to set the type of method. In this case, it's a get request. However, if you're doing a patch, push, post, you can change that right over here. And if it's, for example, a post request, you just need to change the body like so. In this case, since we're doing a get request, we do not have a body and so we won't worry about that. Now that you have your request, you're going to want to create a task to run this request. We do that using URL session dot shared dot data task with request. So we get the request we made earlier. We take in data response and error. And then we set up the JSON decoder to decode the data we get from the API. So if we have data, then check if photo info using the JSON decoder, we give it the model we created previously so it can extract the data. Then we want to give a completion handler with the photo info. Else we can return nil. You also have to remember to get the task going. If not, it's not going to start using res resume. Now that we have the photo network helper, we're going to want to set up the UI in the view controller. So I'm going to make an instance of the photo network helper. And then I'm going to call the helper function we created. And then I'm going to call the helper function we created. Again, we check if the photo info exists because we had the option of sending nil. Then we'll update the UI. I'll make a helper function for updating the UI, update UI with photo info of type photo info. So after we get the JSON data, it only gave us a URL. 
but we have to extract data from that URL to be able to create an image to put in our image view. So when are you going to update the UI? You want to dispatch it on an async thread because you don't want to block the main thread. So we'll do that using dispatch q.main.async. Then I'm going to guard let under let data equals try data dot contents of photo info dot URL. If so, then let image equals image UI image from data else return. If we have this, we can set the image view equals image and the title label text to photo info dot title. I forgot a comma here. There we go. Now that we have this set up, we can test our project to see if it's working. Perfect, the build succeeded. Oh, looks like we forgot to update the UI to call the update UI function with photo info. Now that we have that, we can finally see our image. Perfect, as we can see the image loaded and we have the title. Stay tuned next time. I'm gonna put some more tutorials out here. Our next video is probably gonna be on Swift shortcuts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Swift tutorials. See you another time and have a good one.